python is a high level object oriented and general purpose programming language nowadays python is used in every field of it that is python is used in software development in web development in network programming in data science machine learning artificial intelligence and much more okay so in this video we are going to learn about python from beginner level to advanced level in depth and step by step okay so if you want to learn python then this video is for you so what are the requirements to learn python so there is no requirement to learn python uh, only the requirement is that only you have a system with python installed okay so only you have uh, you can use a computer or a laptop whatever it may be uh, make sure that uh, the python should be installed in your system and we need a code editor where we can write and run our python code okay so for that i will uh, check whether python is installed in my system or not for that i will open my command prompt okay just go here and type cmd and press enter now my command prompt is opened now i will just type here python and hyphen hyphen version just press enter you can see a message that is python was not found that means python is not installed in our system okay so uh, now we need to install python for that i will go to my chrome browser and uh, type here download download python okay download python and press enter then you can see the first link which is from python.org just click here and you can uh, you can enter into the official website of python so here the download button is visible just click here it will uh, download python 3.10.6 which is the latest version okay so now my download is completed so just double click here the installation wizard will come uh, see here just check this button add python 3.10 to path and uh, uh, click here customize installation then uh, press next then click then check this checkbox install for all users and uh, the cost uh, the install location will be default make it default and then press install okay now python is started installing in my system okay so let's wait some time to complete it okay the installation was successful now press the close button so let's go to the browser and uh, type download visual studio code and then press enter so uh, the first link which is from code.visualstudio.com uh, just click here and uh, you will be enter into the official website of visual studio code okay so this is the official website of visual studio code uh, you can see here the options you can download it for windows or uh, linux or mac so i am using windows so i will click here now you can see the download will be started soon okay just wait some time yes the yes the download is started now let's wait some time to complete the download now uh, visual studio is downloaded completely so just double click on it the installation wizard will come okay this is the installation wizard uh, just read the license agreements and uh, click here i accept the argument then i accept the agreement then click here next then next then next and uh, check this checkbox and check this checkbox check this checkbox and then click next then press install okay 
it will install visual studio code in in my system let's wait some time okay visual studio code is installed completely so i will uncheck this launch visual studio code and uh, now i will fin i will uh, press enter you can see the python version 3.10.6 that means python is uh, installed successfully in our system okay so we can uh, write python code in command prompt also so see how if i type here python and then press enter then you can see the uh, python the python interpreter is open okay so now if i uh, want to do some arithmetic operation here then i can do suppose i can uh, write to plus three and press enter then you can see the result okay so if i want to print something into the console then i can use print function P -R -I -N -T, print hello to the console and then press enter you can see the output coming here okay that means python is correctly working now uh, let's exit from this prompt for that i will uh, press a function that is exit function exit and press enter now i am successfully exit from the python interpreter okay so now you will now we will see the visual studio code is working perfectly or not for that i will go to my folder and uh, then right click here and uh, press show more options then you can see a option is available here open with code then click that option then you can see the current folder will open inside visual studio code okay so now what i can do is i can create a python file here to create a file just press this icon and uh, uh, i will give some name suppose i will give hello dot py so dot py extension is used for creating python files okay so my python file is created here that file name is hello so now i will write a function here to check whether it is working or not uh, for that i will write free print hello world okay print hello world now i will run this file to run this file uh, first of all we uh, i have to save this file press ctrl plus s to save this file and uh, now i want to uh, run this file uh, to run this file just click here the run button which is in the upper right corner place the press the run button you can see the uh, python file is run successfully and the output is seen in the console hello world if in case you uh, did not find the run button then what you can do is we can manually run the file that is you just type here python and then space uh, the file name the file name is hello.py hello.py and then press enter you can see the uh, file run successfully and uh, you can see the output here hello world okay so okay so everything is working perfectly so this is it for now we will continue from this onwards in our next video so thank you for watching this video